22 in parallelogram ABCD shown below. Diagonals AC and BD intersect at E. Okay, so we know that E is the midpoint of each of those diagonals, so it splits the diagonals into equal parts. That doesn't necessarily mean the diagonals are equal to each other. In fact, they won't be. DB will be longer than AC. So we can eliminate the first choice. AC can't be congruent to DB. Right? AC is much shorter than DB, so that's not true. How about angle ABD, ABD, congruent to CBD, CBD. So in other words, is this guy, that's this one, congruent to this one? That's only true if it's a rhombus. If all the sides are equal, then this angle ABC will be bisected by the diagonal. But in a parallelogram, where the sides can be different lengths, it's not true. It's not necessarily true. If it's a, like I said, if it's a rhombus, that would become true. Um, okay, now let's erase those marks. How about triangle AED, AED congruent to triangle CEB? Yeah, that's going to be true. So it's this triangle congruent to this triangle. Now why can we say that's true? Well, if we had to prove it, we could do vertical angles here. We could say AED is congruent to BEC by vertical angles. And then we know AEC is, its midpoint is E, so it's being bisected. So AE must be congruent to EC. And the same can be said for DB. So DE must be congruent to EB. And then we have SAS, SAS. So we could say AED is congruent to CEB, and that works. How about DCE, DCE triangle? So that's this guy, congruent to BCE. That's this guy. Now that wouldn't make sense. And you can even see just by looking at them, they don't look like they're going to be congruent. And this is a legitimate parallelogram, even if it's not the scale, so not necessarily true.